days. Last uh, three, two, and rest. Quick cap refill, pressing into the base of the palm, making sure it goes from white back to normal color in about one to three seconds. And you know, just from doing the warm up, whether your bands are on tight or not, or not, your arm should already be feeling that pressure. Okay. So we have four rounds of side lying triceps. Two per side, so I come down onto one side, wrap my bottom arm around it, press that top hand into the floor. And we wanna do our best to create concentric and eccentric movements. So not only focusing on pressing ourselves up really slowly, but also coming down really slowly. So I'll let you pick your pace, the slower you can go, the more we're focusing on really pressing, squeezing the chest to lift up and activating the on to lower down. Okay. First set, three, two, one. So my piece is going to be up, two, three, hold, down, two, three, hover, up, two, three, hold, down, two, three, hover. Try not to let that bottom shoulder touch. Keep going. And we're going to do our two sets on the same side. Keep it up. Even if you only do four or five reps in the set, that's fine. Your band should be tight enough that that's where you max out. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go right into the next cycle. All right, there's the top hand into the floor. We're going again in three, two, one. Pressing up, two, three, Hold, down, two, three, hover, up, two, three, hold, down, two, three, hover. That's it, half done. Really working into that one arm. And if you have to pause it and stop, do it. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's make our way over onto the other side. Top hand on the body. 30 seconds, two sets. Let's go. Two, three, hold, down. Two, three, hover. Up, two, three, hold, down. Two, three, hover. Half done, keep moving. If you wanna slow it down, do it. Yes. Nice, Diane. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Last cycle for the tries, and then we'll work into our single arm five steps. Top handers into the floor. 30 seconds. Here we go. Good. Ooh, try not to let that bottom shoulder touch the ground and slowly as you can on the way up. Slowly as you can on the way down. Keep it up. Great. We're half done. Arms should be burning. You might not be able to finish the set. The cycle is so high and the bands are on so tight. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up either onto the knees or standing. Four rounds, single arm biceps. So starting with the right arm, and we wanna do our best not to let that arm ever fully lock out. Now, because we're only working into one bicep, I want you to give me everything you've got on that single arm, and also find some stability, some tension in the rest of the body to help maintain good farm where we work into this arm. 30 seconds, here we go. Up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Imagine what this would look like with a 50 pound weight in your right hand. Nice, good. See if you can slow it down even more. Squeeze the fist. 
Mm-hmm. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Huh. Tingly, feeling it. We have our second set on this same side. Grab your imaginary 50 pound weight, 30 seconds in three, two, one. Good, squeeze it up. And I like the analogy, imagine you're holding this like really thick rubber band and you're pulling it down, pulling it down, pulling it down. Yes. Good. Oh, that arm should be feeling it. Half done. Last 10. See if you can do only one more. It's so slow and steady. Five, four, three, two, and release. Oh, I love it. All right, working into the left arm. Right arm across the body for stability. 50 pound weight in your left hand. Squeeze like heck to start, 30 seconds. Here we go. Up, two, three, four. Resist, down, two, three, four. Yes. Get my cycle going again. Awesome. Good. See if you can go even more slowly. Get that fist in towards your shoulder. Last 10. Maybe one more rep is all you need here. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay? We have one more cycle, and then the meat, the bulk of our workout is done, and we get to release those muscles. 30 seconds, working into the left arm. Squeeze it, here we go. Up, two, three, four. Resist, two, three, four. Amazing, starting to see veins. Things are popping out. Maybe some darkness, discoloration of the arms is our goal, showing us that our bands are working. Good. Last 15 seconds. Mm hmm give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, to release some of that lactic acid, we're doing similarly to what we did on Wednesday. Two rounds of tricep extensions, fast both arms, two rounds of bicep curls fast, and then four rounds of a spinal twist because we're also incorporating the spine today. So. First two cycles, 30 seconds, tricep extension. Elbows in, here we go. Fast, three, two, one, let's do it, go. Get those arms pumping. Yeah, whew. And I don't know if Bonnie's here today, but she knows, we know she's the queen of fast tricep extensions. Quentin is coming in hot second. Good, great Diane, nice George, amazing. Keep it up, Jim, fantastic. Yes, whew, good, last 10, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. We have one more set of those. Elbows in, Whoop, losing myself, we're going in, three, two, one, here we go. Good, and even doing these, my muscles are nice and fatigued, good. Keep it up, keep it up. Work through it. Last tricep of the week. Last 10. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next set, two rounds, bicep curls. Maybe you're not holding any weight or like a one pound weight. We're going in three, two, one, moving fast. Good. Woo. Good. And I'm always engaging through my core as I do this to keep the rest of my body stable so I'm not like flopping around. Only my biceps are getting that work. Good. Last 10. Pick it up, pick it up. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and oh, we have one more set. My arms are heavy. All right, final set. Three, two, one. Let's curl it out. After this, we're coming back down onto hands and knees, and then we're going to swap out our band. Even if you want to stop, keep it going. Half done. Awesome. Last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Make your way down to hands and knees. Left hand behind the head. We rotate elbow to elbow. Open up the spine. Elbow to elbow. Open it up. 30 seconds. We're going. For these ones, it's not necessarily fast or slow. You just want to focus on lifting that top elbow as much as you can to get that nice twist in the spine, moving the whole upper body around. Half done. Good. After this set, we're going to do this another set on the same side. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We have three more cycles of work to do. All right, left hand behind the head. Second set, this side, let's go. Elbow to elbow, open it up. Drop it down, and lift. Keep moving. Good. Nice, see if you can get that elbow up a little bit higher each time, last 10. Mm -hmm. And five, four, three, two, and rest. This time, last two cycles, working into the right hand. Take the hand behind the head. We're going in three, two, one. Elbow to elbow, open to twist. Working through that range. Maybe we can even take it a little bit slower because we want to think about the purpose here, and that's to move the spine. So really focusing on getting that top elbow up. Half done. Great. Nice. Five, four, three, two, Rest, we have our last cycle, last set. Right hand behind the head. Three, two, one. Elbow to elbow, open it up. Great. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then we're done. We're complete. Our upper body is all set for the day, for the weekend. <laughs> last set. Amazing. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and swap out your armbands for leg bands, and I will open the stage up to Steve for a moment. Yes, uh, so I have a few questions. One, we've been doing all body weight exercises, and if you had a choice, what equipment would you use with katsu? Or what do you use uh, katsu equipment with? It could be a stationary bicycle, a pair of dumbbells. Just uh, tell us what type of equipment do you like or would you like to use with katsu, if any? I would uh, probably go with uh, some uh, resistance uh, bands. Um, or the TRX uh, sort of uh, setup. Got it. When you use the TRX, do you use it for your lower body or upper body or both? Uh, use it for both. Uh, haven't been doing it lately because of the, because um, doing the squats and the lunges through this program. Uh, but previous to this, I had been doing TRX with lunges and squats as well as in the upper body um, uh, bicep curls and that sort of thing. Thank you. And, uh, and shoulders. Thank you. 
Anyone else? Um, yeah, I, I do use TRX. I do use exercise band. Um, I use dumbbells. Um, I even use my wife's, my wife has a Pilates reformer. I will use that. I, I look at everything as just a way to provide input into the system, you know. Um, but uh, in terms of, and, and I'll also do isometrics. Um, Good, good. Using webbing, so. Okay, great. On the isometrics, what, what kind of isometric holes do you do? Well, as I mentioned in my email, I, I do I do the shoulder exercises where I hang, and then I, um, the exercise is to actually, you know, with your palms down, come up, and I will, um, you know, it's in all three directions, and I, I use the ground plate off my uh, um, X3 bar, and I have some climbing webbing that I've attached hand handles to, and I use that for isometrics. And uh, it's not particularly, um, you don't particularly get the, the failure response with them, but it, it, it works pretty well. Uh, so it keeps my shoulders happy. Got it, okay. And Mary, Mary said she uses very light weights and bikes once or twice a week. Okay. Anyone else? All right, go ahead, Laura. Let's go uh, lower body. All right, lower body. Everyone, bands are on. Tighten them even more if you can. So just a reminder, we ideally want to put our bands on sitting down and then re-tighten. Once we come up to stand, pulling the outer edges up, much like a harness of sorts. So we talked about this yesterday. It's really hard to have the leg bands on too tight. So see if you have a little extra room to tighten in there. And we're going to start our first two rounds are going to be a hamstring passive stretch. Second two rounds are gonna be kind of like a rock side to side, bending into the legs. And then we're gonna do our hamstring curl. So first 30 seconds, you're stepping the left foot forward, right foot back and keeping the hips squared off. I just want you to walk your hands down your leg and fold into it as much as you can. We've got 30 seconds, here we go. Hamstring stretch. Keeping both legs nice and straight. And you can even create traction. Imagine you're pulling your floor in opposite directions with your feet. Nice. And enjoy this time, the space here. Let the head hang, let the upper body hang. And then start to bend into the front knee, roll on up to stand. Second cycle, we're going to do the other leg. So this time, right foot forward, left heel glues down to the floor, keeping those hips squared. Again, start to walk the hands down the right leg as much as you can. 30 seconds for our stretch. Not a bad way to start a workout. Mm -hmm. I right, give that a shake now. About 10 more seconds here. If you can get deeper into it now is your opportunity. And as you start to rebend into the front knee, bring yourself up to stand. Those are our first two cycles. Next two cycles, we're stepping the feet wide. We did Cossack squats yesterday. Today, working side to side, the point is just to help open up the hips in the body. So as I drive my hips back behind me, I'm going to go over to the left, back through center, over to the right, back through center. And you can take your hands to your legs. You can keep them together, hands to hips, whatever you want. But the purpose here is just to get the hips as far over as you can to open everything up, okay? First 30 seconds, here we go. Working side to side. Okay. Right. 
good. And I'm keeping my spine straight, even as I do this, pressing the hips back behind me. Good, we've got about 10 more seconds here. And last five, four, three, two, and one. That was our first set. We have one more, and then we'll do hamstring curls. Second set, here we go. 30 seconds, working side to side, pressing the hips back. And because it is a Friday, and we usually do stretchy stuff on Friday, we are going to do the meat of our workout. And then our warm down is gonna be all stretch related. Good, last 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, hamstring curls, and then we will get moving a little bit faster. These are done slowly, hands to hips, hands to wall, hands to wall, whatever feels right. Pull the left heel up, 30 seconds, slowly curl up and down. We're doing two sets with one leg, two sets with the other, and then we'll get into our harder pub portion of our workout. And slower. Thank you. <laughs> Last six, five, four, three, two, and release. Now on these, just like we do on our other movements, focus on the movements going both directions. So not only working slowly to pull the heel up, but also resisting to press the foot down, okay? So it's not just this, it's working both directions at an equal speed, 30 seconds. Second set, here we go. Resisting up, resisting down. Resisting up, resisting down. And you can count it like one, two, one, two. Mm -hmm. And last five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's work into the right leg. 30 seconds, here we go. Up, two, resist, down. Nice. Mm -hmm. Last seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. One more set. And then we're going to do some hip centric things. Second set. Here we go. 30 seconds. Work through it. Good. And in our new 15 minute workouts, we haven't done a bunch of like bouncing and bobbing around. So our first set of exercises for the lower body are going to be using the entire body to do the exercise. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. So we have four cycles of alternative burpees. Reminder, it is two squats. I step or jump up, come up slowly, come down slowly, and jump back, okay? We have four cycles of that, and then we have four cycles of curtsy knee hovers. Down and up, two cycles left side, and then two cycles right side, all focusing on this, okay? So, making our way into plank, alternative burpees. 30 seconds in three, two, one. We step or jump up, squat one, rise, drop back down, step or jump back. Keep going. Nice. Half done. Last 10. 
Woo, looks good. Five, four, three, two, everyone rest on hands and knees. Mm -hmm. That was our first cycle. We have three more. Start to make your way back into plank position. Second cycle in three, two, one, go for it. Hi, right, Jim. Uh, don't forget those two squats, one at the bottom, you rise up, you drop back into a squat position. Last 10. Amazing. Five, four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds, and then we'll go into our third set. Good. Everyone start to make your way into plank. Third set in three, two, one. Here we go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Half done. And then we have one more round. Don't stop now. Last 10. Amazing. Really getting that body working. Five, four, three, two. Ten seconds rest. Whew. We have our last round. Start to make your way back into plank. We're going again in four, three, two. Let's go. Final set of alternative burpees. Yes. And we're moving through these, really getting that heart rate up. Fantastic. Half done. Go, Tag, go. Last eight, seven, six, five. Don't stop now. Three, two, one. Rise to stand. All right, four cycles done. Next two cycles, curtsy lunge, knee drops with the left leg. Take a breath, grab a sip of water if you want it. All right. Start to find your left leg. Step it behind the right leg. Bend that knee. At no point do I want to let that leg lock. So keep hugging the hips into the midline of the body. Notice this front knee doesn't get all wonky. I go resist down, resist up. Resist down, just as slowly, resist up. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. Resist into it, squeeze the glute, resist up. So as I'm dropping down, I'm working into the quad, and as I'm pressing back up, I'm really kind of squeezing my legs towards each other to create that tension, that stability. Nice, yeah. good. And this is not a reverse lunge, it's a curtsy lunge, so make sure your left foot is over to the side. Now we're talking. Fantastic. Good. See if you can get that knee even lower and then move even slower. Slower on the way down and slower on the way back up. I know. Last 10. Then we have one more set on this side. Six. Five. Fantastic. Four. Three. Two. And rest. All right. Ooh, maybe wiggle it out. Second set on the left side. Step that foot over. Bend into the back knee, get low. 30 seconds. Time is rolling. Resist down. Resist up. Maybe make that movement only about two or three inches. Mm -hmm. Good. See if you can stay even lower. This is it, last one on this side, last work for the week. Yes, last 10. Stay low, you can do it, this is it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Last two cycles, and then we get to slow it down, stretch it out. Maybe not slow it down, we're moving pretty slow already. Right foot across the body. Bend into the back knee, 30 seconds, three, two, one. Resist down, 
squeeze the thighs towards each other, resist up. Glute and quad down, inner thighs up. Brilliant. Yes, yes, yes. See if you can get even lower. Last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Last cycle of our hard work. Here we go. Step that right foot over, bend into the back knee. Last 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Coming down, squeezing up, slowly down. Squeezing up. Yes. We're already half done. Mm -hmm. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. All right. We have four rounds of the greatest stretch in the world. So as a reminder, I come down into plank position. I step my left foot up, drop the arm down, reach, step it back. Right arm comes up, drop the forearm down, reach, step it back. Okay, so we're giving the spine some love today. First cycle, 30 seconds, here we go. I don't care what the pace is, just work on really getting that forearm down to the ground. Good. Half done. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. We have three more rounds, and then we'll come into some static stretching, just holding and releasing. Second cycle, step the feet back, 30 seconds, here we go. Good. <laughs> Keep breathing through it, half done. Amazing. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, two more cycles. Step back into plank. Third cycle. Three, two, one. Go for it. Yeah. And you know what to do here. So see if you can work through it and go for depth of the stretches and the twisting. After this, we only have one more round and then we get to chill for a whole two minutes. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more round. And it's called the greatest stretch in the world for a reason because it really does open up a lot of the body. So take it for what it is. Final cycle. Step back into plank. Let's go. Nice. And you might notice that you're able to get your forearms closer and closer to the ground with each round. That's the goal. Half done. Good. Last 10, and then we'll drop our knees. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Now, our next 30 seconds is just a hip stretch. I step my left foot up, scoop my right knee back, and take the next 30 seconds just letting yourself hang. Time is rolling. If you can get down onto your forearms, great. If you can't, it doesn't matter. Just working towards it. 
And I want to make sure that my knee isn't splaying out to the side too much. So keep pulling it in toward left shoulder. And my goodness, let the upper body relax. We're already half done here. Use the breath to maybe help you get a little bit deeper. With each exhale, relaxing into it. Good. And in five, we're going to make our way back onto our hands. Three, two, and one. Hands into the ground. Step that knee back. Give the hips a rock side to side. And let's do the second cycle of this on the right side. Step that foot up. Outside the hand. Scoot the left knee back. And hang. 30 seconds. Good. We're about half done here. Give the head a shake. No. And see if you can slow the breathing down. And in five, we're going to make our way onto our palms. Three, two, and one. Step the right knee back. Give the hips a rock side to side. And our last minute of work, first 30 seconds, step the left foot up again, kick it out into a hamstring stretch. So you wanna step the foot up between the hands and then start to kick it towards straight. 30 seconds, hang out. And your left hip crease is gonna to wanna to sneak forward, keep pulling the left hip crease back and the right hip crease forward. Good. Last 10 seconds here, just relaxing the upper body into the stretch, really pulling the toes of the left foot in towards the shin. And then go ahead and step the left knee back. Take the right foot up between the hands and start to kick it as straight as it'll go. Final 30 seconds of a workout, letting yourself hang. Pulling the right hip back and the left one forward and really flexing the toes of the right foot. Good. Last 10. And in five, we're going to step that right knee back. Three, two, and one. Set the knee back, tuck the toes, press your hips up and back. Start to walk, walk, walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and let's give ourselves a round for our 15 minutes. Steve, I will turn it over to you. Guys, have a great weekend. Okay, everybody, I have uh, good news and bad news. Uh, and I always like giving the bad news first. Um, tonight, today is the last day that Laurel will be with us in, in this format. And that's the good news. Um, but we're going to take a hiatus and reformat everything that we're doing and um, return in, I, I don't know, I'll say a month in a different format. Um, all of you will be invited to that form, format uh, free of charge. You'll be the only ones that are invited to that format free of charge. And we'll be providing more information on that in the next few weeks. So the, the bad news is we have to say goodbye to Laurel, but the good news is only momentarily. And it's I put my email in the chat. Um, please stay in touch. It's been an absolute dream teaching these classes for the last couple months. Uh, Pre-COVID, I could never imagine doing this and it's been really cool. So. Please feel free to drop me a note if you have questions, if you discover something really weird or cool about fitness, or if you just want to say hi. Um, I feel like I've gotten to know all of you over the last couple months, and I'm always here for you. So thank you, Steve, for giving me this opportunity and everyone for showing up and doing the work. Yeah. And uh, you'll see her around just uh, online in another format on katsu.com. All right. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Laurel. Thank you, Laurel.